Rockeyes would like to welcome Scott Miller, Tango Down. Hey, man, what's going on? How's it going, man? Great, great, great. Uh, congratulations on the album. Uh, it's amazing how uh, Bulletproof, uh, really, uh, fans are attaching themselves to it. Um, and new singer, Chaz West, uh, did an amazing job. Um, you know, tell me, do you read reviews? Yes, I absolutely do. I, gotta, I have to keep my finger on the pulse. Uh-huh. And, uh, you know, if you, if you see a bad review, or I, I don't think you saw any on Bullet, Bulletproof, but, I mean, you know, does it affect you at all? No. Everybody's allowed to think what they want. It's, right. you know, it's art. Some people like it, some people don't. But I must say, I'm more than pleased with how well-received this album has been and how well-received the new lineup has been. Right. Now, with, with the new lineup, um, really, who does the writing, who does the music, or is it a collaboration between everybody? There's no set formula. It happens a lot of ways. You know, there's no, you know, I have a lot of people that I write with on the outside. We do some inside writing. I write a lot of stuff. Other people write stuff. They submit songs. It's, it's no set formula. It just happens how it happens. Right. Um, tell me your relationship with the band Adrian Gale. Uh, I came out of retirement in about 2000, John Kivel said, hey, I've got a spot for you in a group. You want to get back into it and start recording? So uh, Eddie uh, had left Adrian Gale, and there was an open guitar slot. I didn't have to try out or audition or cattle call. I was already, I was just placed right in, and we did two fantastic albums. I can't say enough good things about those guys. They are very, extremely talented cats. Vic Rivera is the man. I enjoy working with him immensely. Right. Now, um, going back to the new album, Bulletproof, um, it, was there any particular song um, that you really attached yourself to? I liked all of them. And now listen, I read your review. Right. I try to say Superstar is my favorite song on the album. <laughs> cool. Everybody, everybody likes something different. Some people attach to one song, some people to another. You know, it's very, the fans, it really is incredible how the fans, each one will have a different interpretation of what they hear. And I really enjoy reading it, right. you know. Right, right. Now you have Rock and Skull coming up, uh, yeah, I pretty soon this month and um were you there last time too absolutely wow so you were there every year that uh, actually it happened i think and we did uh i think uh i think he also ran it once in nebraska once and we played at that one too right right uh, how's the audience at, at them shows absolutely the best the fans are the best. The, the people from the internet and all the chat rooms, everybody, it's, it's grown into more of like a family since back in the days of South Dakota Rock Fest. Everybody started meeting, and now we all get together as many times a year as possible. Right. It really is like a community. It's more of a community. Right, right. Now, I, I hung out with you at Melodic Rock uh, a couple of years ago and stuff like that, and um, that seems like uh, Andrew is working with Rock and Skull now. Uh, that should be a real highlight uh, for everybody, having both, both uh, you know, coordinators doing it together. That should be really something special. I wish I could go, yeah. you know. Well, Justin and Andrew and John Kivel are, are all talented cats, and they're really know what they're doing you know they really know their piece of the puzzle and they always put together a quality show the fans always love it right 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 now after rock and skull what are the plans are you working on a new material or are you going to go out touring or what's up we're always writing right. always writing the writing never stops the writing never stops you know not all the songs get used you know i wrote almost 20 songs for the last album i just keep writing 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 a lot of things get passed off to other people and then a lot of it just sits and dies in my computer. <laughs> but uh, we are planning on the, on going out. But we have to. I have to hear the word from John, the mastermind, because he handles all of that stuff. It's great to be on such a good label that really takes care of its artists. It makes it so much easier for me just to be an artist and not have to do nuts and bolts. You know, right. I have people that I trust in my corner. You know, Tango Down is actually a large family of people. 
yes, there's the people in the band, but there's a lot of behind the scenes. Like I said, John Kivel, Ty Sims, Jason Pollock, Paul Loge, uh, Sean Paletta. There's lots of people that make up the extended Tango Down family. Eric Johnson. Wow. Now, I've been I've been blessed to be able to work with such a large group of of extremely talented people. Cool. Hey, you're supposed to tell me not to say cool. Oh, <laughs> cool, cool, cool. <laughs> <laughs> I get it from my wife. Now I get it from you. <laughs> that's, a, hey, that's cool, cool, cool. <laughs> how, how much input does uh, Mr. Kibble have uh, on uh, releases? Uh, John and I are kind of like partners in this. You know, he he has you know he has a John has a vision. He's someone who has a vision, and it's not we don't have to fight about everything because our visions are you know we don't match up perfectly. Right. But we both want to keep chugging in the same direction, and you know since we all the flagship band for the label, right? We worked our way up to that status over the last five albums. So yes, John has a lot of input. A lot of input. Good. Well, wh what do you do in your spare time? I'm an artist. I uh, I create movie sets. That's great. See, I said that's great. I didn't say cool. Okay. <laughs> that's great. Cool. 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 <laughs> yeah. Well, now you got to say great, great, great. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so that's your new one. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me a little bit about uh, you know the sets you make and stuff like that. Uh, I do a lot of. Uh, country French kitchens, Italian villa. I've done Roman ruins. I've done Egyptian ruins. I do a lot of farmhouse Adirondack. I do a lot of Adirondack style because I live in upstate New York where that's really popular. You know, I mean, I do it because I just love to do it. I have right. to. I have to do something, and it has to be artistic. I'm always everything I do is pretty much artistic. I'm not a I'm not a sit at a desk with a pencil kind of guy. Right. Did Did you ever think about doing a solo album? Yeah, many times, many times, many times, and I have a ton of songs tucked away for when that opportunity arises. But right now, I'm so busy with Tango Down. You know, we we put out an album just about every two years, and it's we just keep moving, 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 moving. So I mean. For me to put out a solo album, why would I want to take those songs that I've written away from possibly another Tango Down album? If I do a solo album, it's just like Tango Down, because that's what I do. Right. You know, it's not that I have this desire to do something else. So one day, I'm sure, it will arise. John and I have talked about it on numerous occasions. So when the time, when the time is right, it'll come out. Right, right. Do you feel the the internet was a, a a big input or impact on your band or any band? It's the greatest thing that's happened. I mean, now, back in the actual '80s, there was you know five, six thousand people in a state that would come see you play, and now that's weaned down. Everyone's got older. People have moved on. So now there's five, six thousand fans in the whole country but everybody stays connected all the time they know where the shows are who's going to fly to the show where you're playing who's playing all the bands and all the fans are like like i said one big community it really is awesome except for the fact that the internet killed any chance anybody ever has of making any money right wow. but that's fine because you know what it's not about money anymore it's about music it's about the people who love it right uh, is there any impact of, you know, people leaking the album before it comes out, or does it bother you at all? John handles that with an iron fist. I don't think we've been leaked a couple e a couple albums ago. I think we got leaked, but uh, John has figured out a way to stop that from happening. And I, to the best of my knowledge, I don't think it's happened. I mean, once you release. It's out there. Right. There's nothing you can do. You just don't want it to get out there before you actually release, because that's just not right. You know, that's just dirty pool, and it's just you know, I I don't know what's in these people's heads who would do that. Maybe yeah. they feel special, but you know, a lot of work goes into these albums, and it's just it's just not right. Right. It's yeah. just not right. <laughs> 
you know. I mean, that that's one thing our site, uh, Rock Eyes, uh, you know, prides ourselves on because, like, we get albums two months, three months in advance. They never go nowhere except my desk. So, uh, you know, I'm... Well, that's good. You know, that's I'm, good, I'm and that's why... I'm proud of that. Yeah, that's, that's okay. why I enjoy talking with you and dealing with you, you know. But I have to say, I really am not too knowledgeable. I guess they, I try to stay out of the nuts and bolts business of it. Right. John and Killer Records handles all of that stuff. Right. Now, the new album cover, who came up with that? John, of course. <laughs> he's, the art, he's the art director. That's, that's his main piece of the puzzle, and he's great at it. You know, and we talk about it. We fire some ideas around, you know, but it's basically the artwork, as long as everyone doesn't hate it, is pretty much his baby. And right. he does a great job. i got to say, Kibble Records puts out the best-looking product of most of most of the labels that are in existence today. It'll stand up quality-wise with, any, with, with anything. Right, right. I, I mean, I love the covers. The, you know, the women are, and stuff are, are beautiful. And uh, I remember, the, uh, I think it was uh, um, Charming Devil, that um, you were dressed in the suit. Right? Yes, that, yes. That yes. was really cool. That was an interesting an interesting photo shoot. Yeah. I I, I love the pictures. Yeah. Uh-huh. You know? The band went to a museum. That was taken in a museum. John set it up. They 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 got a museum for the day. Right. And makeup people and a big photo crew. It was a big to do. You know, tuxedos and suits and measurements. It was a big day. and I think it came out great. It really is yeah, a definitely. dynamite a dynamite picture. I, I even have some posters. I think my kids have one of the posters up on the wall in their room. Yeah, they were. It really did. It really did come out dynamite, and we had a lot of fun doing it. That's great. You know, can you tell me anything about the the band right now? Each member. The band members right now. Yeah. I have to say that the new lineup was the biggest kick in the ass that I needed. Chaz is absolutely fantastic. I mean, the man is a consummate professional. You know, he really gets it done. He looks great. He sounds great. He's easy to work with. He's cool to hang out with. That's Axel, he's my little buddy. He's my <laughs> little brother. I'm Skipper. He's Gilligan because that kid, that kid's going to go places. He's a young, he's a young buck. You know, he's eyes closed, head down, full speed ahead. I have to give it to him, man. He has so much energy. And it's given me more energy just trying to keep up with him. Wow, that's great. And Keith is my long, 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 long time friend. We've been friends since we were teenagers. We've played together on and off for years. And he's just hes just a fantastic drummer. Not all this crazy, he's just got that constant boom, 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 all night long. Wow. And I love it. That's great. Now, do you have any goals, you know, you'd like to reach? in the upcoming years? I like to just keep trucking forward, never going backwards. Hango Down never takes a step backwards. We don't take giant leaps forward, but it's an incremental progression. You know, as soon as I feel I'm starting to go backwards, then maybe I'll reconsider my involvement and do my solo album, you know. <laughs> but as of right now, we just keep going forward. Everything we put out is, a, is better than what was before. The songs we write are better than the songs we wrote before. The production is better than the production we had before. Everything just keeps chugging forward. Wow, that's great. Well, Scott Miller, it's great to talk to you. Tango down. I mean, Bulletproof, everybody's support. Please go get it. At least take a listen to it. Thanks a lot, Scott. Would you like to say anything hey, to the fans? Thank you, man. I got, I got to say thank you because without people like you, there wouldn't be people like me, man. So thank you yeah, for your support. You know how you treated me at the last Melodic Rock? Like, I was the star. Yeah, because you, you are. You took without me you, there wouldn't be me. You. you took me on the tour bus with you. We had a, a couple of drinks. I had a boy. A couple? <laughs> <laughs> well, my wife might be listening. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to thank you for that time and, and all our friendship, and uh, I really appreciate it, man. All right. Well, I want to thank you and all the fans once again. You know, great. Keeping it going, keeping everybody going, not just Tango Down, all the bands, because you know there's a lot of fans, and they're all fans of all the bands, and there's a lot of love in the community. And as long as long as the community still wants to hear more Tango Down and more Riff Man, 
then I'm just going to have to give it to him. Good, good. I think they'll like that. Great, man. Talk to you later. All right, man. You rock, bro. You rock. Bye-bye. Take it easy.